Okay. Uh, that was, I believe, four lost downstairs that were beating somebody up. Unpleasant. So, uh, 2 HP enemy, 2 HP enemy, 2 HP enemy. Everything is 2 HP. I think this guy is 3 HP. I just can't see it. Yes. All right. Surely you won't miss. Thank fudge. Um... Ah, so close yet so far. That's yours. That's yours. That one's mine. We have full ammo. I think it is uh, rather unlikely that the soldier will come up, so if we hunker down in the vehicle here, we should be pretty damn safe. I would expect more of the zombies to come up uh, or through those ladders. It seems like there's one here. There's one here. And another one there. Oh boy, that is extremely tempting to just sit on here, actually. That's not a bad idea. We have only one shot available here. We have multiple over there. And let's have a look. You have a sniper here with potentially two shots. Let me just quickly have a look at your hit chances. Not the greatest. I believe if we do have like 100% hit chances, I will take some shots here. And it's close to 100, 89. Yeah. Better odds. Let's take a shot. Alright. Now we move and block a ladder. If we can, there's no one. Yeah, there's only one over here. That should be pretty decent. I hope so. I hope it didn't screw us by doing this. No, I think Chris is doing fine here. And before I run into another pod. No? That's very nice of you, game. And there we go, 90% on this one. Then if he does manage to kill it, most likely an overwatch. But I will probably have a look at what you do. But first, this guy, I, th I think, needs to finally reload. <laughs> I really feel he needs to reload. <laughs> um, but that does mean he will do nothing else, really. Well, so I'm most sure. likely reload Overwatch and then uh, next turn uh, do the move. Simply because there's way too many lost downstairs for me to, like, move out. Yeah. That's my feeling. Oh, we, we do have... That's all right. Shoot him. Interesting. There you go. This rookie but is I'll take it. pulling his weight. Uh, and I guess we overwatch now. Yeah, let's overwatch now with this guy. And uh, your turn. Taking out that lost, uh, we want to make sure that this is being taken care of. So I follow the example of Chris and just block the end, uh, the letter. Good. Next up, over here, we're going to reload to be action efficient. And let's kill Advent. Very nice. Finally. Moving out. Getting into position. That's not a bad idea either. He might want to heal himself. Are you kidding me? This is not happening. There we go. Take some revenge shots.
and the sector that finally is going to fall. Or not. Well, the rookie could be the game uh, winner again. Is he going to do it? Is he going to kill all three of them? He has definitely muted his mic, so we're not going to know. But if he is killing the sector, we're going to get rid of uh, the fear, the panic. It seems that Chris is uh, trying to block the entrances, and that's fine. Um, gives us a solid position. Not gonna lie. That is helpful. It exposes him though. He probably doesn't know uh, that he can be shot. The reason why I took the um, aggressive position on the other side was because I knew that there is no one left uh, left over to shoot him. Eighty-one percent is pretty good. He wants to hit the guys first. But at the same time, he fears if he takes them away, then the sector has no more targets. Come on, kill the sector. That's an important shot. There you go. That rookie is definitely putting in the work. He still has no microphone. Uh, he seems to have muted his mic, but he's contemplating the idea of going over there, which I greatly approve. It is a good idea. Not sure what he's uh, Communicating, he's he's now completely mute. Uh, it's not how it's supposed to be. You really need to tell me when I'm muted for a long period of time, and it's usually me muting myself and forgetting <laughs> to unmute because I don't want my background noise to annoy every everybody listening to the recording. All right, um, shot the sectoid. You saw that. I don't need to explain that too much. Uh, what happened there? Um, I was suggesting maybe you want to get that lady healed by coming over here and then getting healed as a free action by him. If that is not the case, then uh, please tell me where you are going. That is actually a good idea. Chris is... Okay, I take that as a yes, so then that is what we're going to do. And then you, in theory, still have the option to close up that uh, venue again. Uh, that it appears to be the correct person to heal. Look at that. Awesome. Um, didn't I have two actions? Whatever. Um, yeah, that guy's done. I feel like we have to block the ladders for one more turn. Um, so this guy really can't move. So I'll quickly... Oh, we... Okay, no, that's just if we move. So yeah, uh, you take over for you guys for a moment. I'll see what he does. Overwatch or what else. Got it. Moving. Good. We're taking positions. Essentially killing the little lost stragglers and then moving up all the way over here. The idea is that we're near to the evex zone. It is kind of funny, by the way, that he went over to the balcony because that was one of the things I was considering with a uh, hunk over here. And then I was like, yeah, probably not a great idea. What are we going to do with that position? And then you go and grab it. So probably it wasn't the worst idea. Um, yeah, nobody's about to get hit, I believe, except maybe 
No, you moved away with your sniper. So at best, he's gonna get hit. We're gonna overwatch. See if we can hit something that comes up. I'm not gonna mute myself again. <laughs> just because it's happened twice now. They are very hungry, apparently, considering how far they are willing to run. The Overwatch was a good idea, a very good one. I hope he takes the hint and okay. moves his rookie to the um, big zone. I believe it said the uh, swarms, uh, more enemies are just about to appear. So, like, you are, in theory, safe. I think he's the only one who can make can't make it at the moment, so that would be the first goal. Just get him into a better position. Um, <clears throat> just wondering what that position would be. We can just hunker down one more turn here and then book it all the way to the exit. That's the play. Which might be the best choice, to be quite honest. Uh, I do not believe he could go over here like you have just done. So for now, I believe... I will simply move him all the way over here. The closer to the exit, the better. I hope he realizes yeah, that. Yeah, all of these should be fine. I believe. And just move him here. And then we have Mr. Blue Man over here. I am tempted to also start moving up. We can move him to this balcony. There's no point going over there. But I really want to get him closer to the exit. So right now, put him there and maybe put him on overwatch so they can shoot stuff that comes up here. Good idea. Seems like a plan. Only one more shot though, but yeah, the assumption is we can just run out after this. Your turn. Good, so we got all of the losses down. We're overwatching and overwatching and we're overwatching. Which means the swarm is now going to hit us and next turn we're just going to run. Run like we've never done a, ra a random... It's going to appear on the exit zone again, that would be nice. Son of a bitch. Well, at least the whole Overwatch maneuver works like a charm. There we go. That was some pretty damn good shooting, guys. Well, the okay. right play is just to. So get the plan out. was to run into Evac. Uh, now there's three freaking zombies in it. But uh, as far as I recall, we can run in and then still evacuate, even if we've used up all our movement. I'm just quickly checking if any soldier of yours is uh, probably the only one that like doesn't end his action there. Though, as far as I know, it doesn't matter, but I'm a bit scarred from XCOM 1, where I believe you needed to still have some kind of action left to evacuate. You did not. But... So... Oh, it doesn't matter now. That should be uh, evacuation zone. Please tell me you can evacuate while there are enemies on the pad. Else I expect you to yell just about now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, appears to be possible. So He's so careful, I yes. love it. Go. Move, move, move. It's good. Uh, like I said, guys, if you are if you want to be successful in XCOM 2, he's playing Legendary Iron Man for the very first time. Nice. Give him some credit okay. because he's doing a fantastic job. That's yours. That's my guy. I believe he already leveled up. I assume that's what that little plus means. Um, you have one shot. Don't do it's a 99% chance to it. Surely you wouldn't miss. Uh. Just kidding. Don't do um, it. If it doesn't say a hundred, it is not a hundred. Run, death. 
Uh, hello. <laughs> Everyone who played XCOM 2 knows if it doesn't say 100, do not do it. I checked. All of you guys have enough movement to get there, right? I didn't just screw you over. No. Okay. Not sure why I did that. How did you run out of the zone? I put you right next to it. it he is in the zone. What? Okay, thank you very much. A graphical bug. He Please didn't. finish this uh, <coughs> show. He didn't Jesus. know. Getting some good old extra free hits and kills in. Good, and look at that, guys. We made it. Success at the end of this la uh, long mission. Oh my gosh. Well, not really success, but we sort of made it. Um, it well, was, certainly was a massacre. It was uh, it was good overall. I more ways than one. All right, and we're back, Chris. Wow, what a mission! Um, we already chatted just a tiny bit. That was a nail bite. Although we've lost, in all fairness, we actually also won. So it was kind of a mixed bag. We only lost one soldier. It said two because the VIP died as well. So what we got out of this mission is we actually got a lot of promotions and two corporal soldiers, which are very, very helpful for us since our um, pool of soldiers seems to diminish after every mission. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, this time again, it was me uh, losing uh, Sane um, with a mind controlled grenade kill. I think it was out of five kills. It's the fourth time that we lost someone by mind control. So let's uh, do him the honor and just take the photo. There you go, Sane. Uh, you are not going to be forgotten. Uh, he, he died as he lived uh, like a hero. Good news for you. You got two promotions. Go ahead, buddy. Indeed. He tried to catch a grenade for the VIP, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, you know what they say, I, I catch a grenade for you. By the way, um, you wondered yourself, uh, or you wondered why couldn't you heal um, from range? If you had picked medical protocol, that would have been possible, which is why it's a pretty good skill. But don't fear, if we're building a training center later, you can actually purchase medical protocol on top of uh, the combat protocol. Mm. So from what I remember when I last played, like this was very much a percentage chance to succeed. That's correct, And yes. uh, I love to save scum those, but uh, I don't really have that option. So <laughs> Revival Protocol is a very much safer option. Real quick question. Is this a, a standard action or a free action? Um, uh, well, it is a standard action. Not, the healing was also not a free action. Um, it's a blue action. It doesn't end your turn. Which is important. But it still uses one of your yes. two uh, yes. things. So same for the revival protocol then? Um, same for the revival protocol. You need to read though. It uh, clears panicked, which counters some of the Psy uh, issues. And the more important uh, part is it clears unconscious. If a stun lancer uh, knocks someone unconscious, the only thing that you can do is basically carry them, which not only takes one soldier out, but the guy who's carrying him on top of that. Uh, so that's the only the only option in the game to um, uh, to basically re uh, re remove unconsciousness. I mean, that that's certainly pushing me in one direction. No, I, I, um, the on the no, other no, hand, no. I could... it, it was basically the whole point that this is RNG. Yeah. Uh, basically means I will pick this option either way. Okay. And as as we notice this uh, this mission again, we do tend to run into those freaking effects. Uh, that is so, true, and uh, by the way, I am very surprised uh, to, uh, I want to state that for the record, that Hunk survived this mission. When you did that YOLO play where you said, okay, I'm going to trigger three packs and uh, the entire map, and he was in the open, I was like, hmm, that, that, that might be it. But Hunk 
got uns uh, just went through that unharmed and uh, acted like a boss. He was actually the MVP of the mission in my perspective. Yeah, that relationship status there is just his severe PTSD together with uh, Rodriguez, like her being mind controlled three times, well, two times and panicked once. That's true. And then uh, him, well, I, I mean, and she blew up her friend, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> and him just standing in the middle of all of this shit and not dying somehow. <laughs> all right. Now we have a rookie. A grenadier. Makes sense. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to more grenades. Uh, there was nothing I can choose here, right? No, so let's continue. Uh, you could next. theoretically click on that little uh, symbol, the, uh, the bond. Yeah, if you click on it, you do have a bond uh, available if you want to do it. Uh, the two of them are highly compatible. Um, it's ex incredibly high. And that means if we field both of them, they can uh, give themselves uh, turns. So you can switch turns from oh, yeah, one to the thing. other. Seems reasonable. Um, you need to click on happened. the green hand, yeah? Ah. And then just confirm the bond and click no for the post. Additional uh, single charge, yeah, makes sense. Uh, sure. All right, if you want to design a poster, that's cool. <laughs> Hayward and Hunk. I mean, a bit of an unfortunate combination of first letters there. We can't really use an abbreviation there. That would be an issue. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm uh, going to get demonetized. Okay, well, and I understand none of this, so I don't want to drag it out too much. Um, let's just leave it as it is. Six combined missions. I mean, you, you done good. I have a photo. Um, how do we? Is it next? No, it's just this. Okay, game. you know how to get out of here. Yeah. So, All right. thanks. Good, let's continue. Um, we did not get the, the intel, which is sad, and it's officially a lost mission, but yeah, uh, we got some uh, some kind of rewards out of it. We cool. Yeah, those are our rewards, the corporals. If you hit continue, you will find them now in the um, armor bay, uh, in the med bay with yep. all of the other soldiers in the armory. Sense. Sense. Wow, that's a big mustache. Holy. Came right out of the 90s. Good. There is a sharpshooter and a ranger. Uh, pick either of them as yours, and I'll pick the other one. I see. I do believe uh, we both have a sharpshooter at this point. I think so, yeah. I think Edgar Poe is mine, yeah. So I do believe I will have to pick the ranger. Whatever, you, so uh, whatever you feel like. Yeah, simply so I don't pick another thing that like stays all the way in the back. So let's grab this one. All right, then promote um, the soldier. Can you quickly do the colors? Uh, you can promote the soldier first. I'll do the colors oh, afterwards. Fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what is this? Reveal remains concealed. I mean, I do that a lot. Um, I mean, Swordmaster sounds pretty cool. What is the base damage of a sword? Uh, oh, that is si uh, it is six, um, uh, four to six. Uh, with, uh, with it, it would be uh, six to eight. Um, and with the melee vulnerability, you would one shot uh, sectoids. So that was going to be my question. Yeah. Fuck sectoids. <laughs> Good. Let me shortly take over for the color coding real yeah. quick. So that would be the bluest of the blue. Um, uh, we got body over here. And that... no matter what we do to him, he keeps that mustache. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can even give him some face paint if you want. No, no, we good. We good. Okay, good. Um, and Abby Jackson here. Uh, let's promote her. I would like to take Longwatch as a classical sniper. I mean, she's going to sit in the uh, med bay for the next 17 days, so let's not kid ourselves. She's not going to see action anytime soon, but she did reasonably well on the last mission. Good. There you go, buddy. Uh, you're back in the commander's seat. Indeed. It's one more day That's until yeah, it's one more day until we get the new supplies, so we're almost uh, there. 
I feel like going back and healing again. Oh no. Is this because we failed a mission? No, it's just a normal progress, unfortunately. Ah, uh, okay. In order to kind so, of... So, so how much no time actually passed? Well, we do have Since about supply. half a day left uh, over uh, until the supply drop. Hmm. So if you, for instance, click shortly on the Templar HQ, um, it'll be no time until the month ends, and then the supply drop will be doubled. Almost doubled. There you go, see? Good, so we got ourselves a whooping um, 80 income. I understand that that's pretty bad. <laughs> Well, we can we can always expand. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> <That's rough. laughs> it was a rough month. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, bugger off. Yeah, those are the three chosen. You have uh, uh, you learned um, already learned to know the assassin. So let's continue here. Uh, she's going to crack, crack down and reduce your income next month. That's all it says essentially. Then there are two known um, uh, effects. Number one, more explosives from the enemies. And number two, for all of the covert actions, there is a risk of capture, which is actually bad because you, we would lose the people on the covert uh, mission if that happens. Yeah, uh, I do not recall if that is usually worth it or not. Uh, if I could uh -huh. give you a tip, I would not do it. Uh, we can do better things with the intel. It seems like a lot of intel, but wait until we expand and so on. So intel is actually a precious resource. Like this one is probably the scariest one, I'm going to lie, <laughs> considering what explosives did in that well, previous we mission. will have a chance to counter it during the month, so not uh, don't worry. Three more weeks until the next facility and two more weeks until we're going to have another retaliation mission, which is, yeah, another terror mission. Yes, estimated as in go fuck yourself. Yep. It will be earlier. And that's how estimates work in my D and D campaign. It's like <laughs> you you think it's about twenty seven days, it's twenty four days. I'm lying. All right. Good. Here we got um, a couple of things available: either construction speed increased by twenty five percent, more rewards, uh, intel costs uh, for black market items reduced, or as we currently um, have it, vengeance. Whenever a squad mate dies, we're getting a bonus for two uh, two turns. <laughs> that did a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> this month. Um, I feel like this might be a good choice simply because the black market is like right there. Yeah. If, and if I feel you... like unlocking it, then we have like a lot of intel, which I believe is what you used to pay. Yes, it, right? exactly. Well, that would be a strategy. Okay. That sounds like an idea. So let's let's do that. Is that how? Yeah, that's how it works. That is and how it then works. we don't get these guys yet. Is that because we failed that mission? No, we need to um, upgrade influence. So okay. basically do covered uh, ops missions for them. There you go. Fair. Now we have 200 supplies instead of 120. Which we are going to investigate. All right. Wait a second. You can still buy stuff right when you're about to board on a mission, right? Yes, that is okay. true. We need those flashbangs. I uh, can see what you're saying. Um, you might want to see what we can do with uh, supplies. We had squad we have, size. By increase. the way, uh, one thing that I should have told you, there is an unstaffed engineer who has helped us to create the guerrilla tactics school. You might want to put oh. uh, put that guy somewhere yeah it's not the end of the useful. world but it um we we missed only two days uh, so it's fine you can either excavate with him um or um, uh, improve the speed of creating the proving grounds and half that Stupidous. okay there you go just reduce the build time to six days. And then this is probably um, our lack of energy. We should probably be excavating down here and like 
creating another uh, power facility. If you want to do but, that, um, you can always staff someone there. Yeah, that would be 104 supplies. And I think you only need one to excavate. Yeah, so we'd have to immediately move that one out again. Right. Yes, you can mm. restaff. We would have had a second one if uh, that person wouldn't have been blown up. But it is what it is. Well, I mean, such is life. What can you say? That is true. Okay. And, uh, now it really sucks that we didn't grab that increased <laughs> excavation time. <laughs> oh, it's going to oh, be well. fine. Hindsight is 2020, right? That is always 2020. You still got 250 supplies. Do you want to buy anything yes. with that? Yes. Uh, where is it? No, 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 no. Uh, down here. Armory, was it? No. Engineering. Uh, there we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. That's like, it's extra vision, grenade, hidden area. You reveal enemies, you don't actually trigger them? Correct. Even if you're already, like, revealed? Uh, yes. Convenient. Uh, only 50. There's a lot of supplies. All right, we only have one medkit at the moment, as far as I recall, so that would be a neat choice. Uh, definitely one flashbang. Do I want two flashbangs? Um, just an info for you. Um, you hovered over the squat increase. That was a hundred. Um, uh, Indeed. Just so that you don't forget about that. I want you to make um, explicit decisions and not just accidentally forget. Yeah, no, I, I do remember the squat increase. I'm just thinking, like, grab one scanner. Yeah, it's a fair point. I might have, like, clicked on another medkit and the scanner and then screwed up out of the uh, squad size increase. So, a fair point. This one is very tempting. Um, it has two charges, by the way. So uh, Permission? It, yes, permission. The steel is getting better every time. Let's do that then. And then the other thing was here, I believe. Is that like an instant purchase? Correct, that yes. That is amazing. We and can bring more cannon fodder to the missions. Yeah, that is true. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. All the way down to 47 supplies. Uh, we have a lot of intel, so unless I'm missing something. Ah, I am missing something on the map, which was how long are people out of commission? Um... 16, 16, 5, 11, 13. There's a two day one here, but that's only a squatty. Um, we have the Templar and the Skirmisher. He's still out for six days. So we could get both of them back if we spent six days healing on the HQ. But I do feel like the Black Market might be the better choice for now. Give us access to some additional options essentially okay in which case if you want to do that you gotta yeah. click on the black market and scan for five days and then it will be permanently available for you for the rest of the campaign look at that you just got the option to um, expand very nice Actually, blah 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 blah. Facility research and contacts again. All right, that increases the regions. That increases the amount of regions that you can have um, contact to, um, mm -hmm. and uh, basically every new region that you liberate gives you additional um, mission options and additional supplies per month. You now got an inspiration on experimental weapons. That means it only takes half the time to research them. Yeah, I remember that picture. I also remember that these were extremely underwhelming. You would get from experimental weapon uh, the bolt uh, launcher that you see, uh, which is a high damage one shot weapon. You would get uh, the axe, which is an upgrade. Uh, all, the, all of them are unique. So if, uh, if you lose them on the missions, they are gone, gone. Um, the axe is a unique uh, melee weapon 
that allows once permission on top of using it to throw it as a free action, an actual free action. Uh, there is a pistol uh, that can uh, that snipers can use that gives a cumulative aim bonus. So it's uh, like a plus 10, so um, an ad, um, advanced scope on top of the scope that the pistol is giving, uh, the, the actual weapon is giving. And the fourth um, item is a frost grenade um, that actually freezes all enemies that are hit for an entire turn. I remember using the frost grenade against those emperor aliens and getting really annoyed by the fact that they like tick down extremely quickly. Yeah, that is true. It, it's not meant for that. Yeah, you don't need to do it. I'm just telling you what you get. You need to make your yeah, decisions. Yeah, uh, one thing that of course is tempting there is the pistol. I, really, you can throw the axe? That yes. is news to me. And uh, that is a free action, so um, it allows... I do to... like free actions. I, they are pretty strong. And from experience, I know that you do too. <laughs> yes, because it allows you to spike damage when needed, right? Well, I'm mostly referring to D&D again. Yeah, I know. Uh... <laughs> I feel like I'm getting sidetracked with these things. Uh... But this is like so far away. Um, uh, help me again. The autopsies do what exactly? Do they so speed the up other research or do nah, they give you really. new research? The, the other way around. If you do normal research, you uh, at some point will get the autopsies for free. Um, if you do the autopsies now, they uh, will give you access to one item. The lost autopsy allows you a signal um, amplifier. Uh, you can throw that and the losts are basically attracted to that, so they run towards it. Um, the uh, sector autopsy gives you a mind shield, complete immunity to all yeah, mental shield. effects. Um, <laughs> The stun, lancer gives, <laughs> the stun Lancer gives you an updated sword so that you can hit harder with um, every mm. melee uh, class. So the Ranger. Was the... Uh, is then getting free based on time or based on certain... Uh, it's only for one round. Um, research break. Oh, 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 you mean the... Oh, I see what you mean. Um, well, it is... Uh, later in the campaign, not much later. So, for instance, if you would go for magnetic weapons, there's a high likelihood that you get one or two of the autopsies for free. Um, so they will just come in for free at some point. Mm. Well, looks like we're going for this. Okay. Just for more toys to play with, because that actually sounded pretty interesting. Free actions and better aim. Why not? It's uh, the only downside is you shall not lose it. Because they are unique. If we would never do that. No. <laughs> never. <laughs> Not like we've already lost some of the starting methods. All right. Um, this is fine. Well, I mean, no much I can do about that. So bugger off. We can expand now since you have uh, created uh, the um, uh, the command network. If you click on either of those regions now. Um, you see, seem to recall there was a bonus for having like an entire continent. Yes, that, sort of that thing. is true. Um, so it's... making contact takes six to eight days. So you might want to finish your black market uh, study first. But then we theoretically have enough intel to get the entirety of Africa, which um, has various benefits, including more intel. Well, let's finish this, and I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Look at that. You got yourself, a, uh, or you got me, um, a grenadier. Um, you might want to put another one into training. Yeah. On it. Just struggling a bit with the UI. Bo -bo -bo. Is it was this one? No, this no, is you not can always, one. Let me help you. You can always just click on the Guerrilla Tactics School here. It zooms in, and there you go. Yeah. Thank you. You we're running out of rookies. Uh, I wonder why that's the case. I have no idea either. Okay, so we did the Grenadier. The other thing we were considering, I believe, was the Ranger. Mm -hmm. um, not a specialist to undo my screw up with uh, ranged healing would be nice as well, though. Okay. Um, that really 
sucked, and yeah, I'd rather have this. Okay. Let's do that. And I go. I absolutely am, am in love with the fact that you value um, specialists because most of the players starting um, would say, you know what, specialists are not not a good class. It's by the way, um, absolute misconception. Um, it's great that you. Oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> so what do uh, what do we have? Uh, what uh, do we get here? Let's review. Let's. So it counters the uh, capture thingy. It doesn't have any local modifiers. No, it does not, and it gives. And us down here, room. there's a there's a chosen taunting me. It's like haha. She's How probably going to be there. Yes. Uh, but we have 160 supplies, and all we need to do is recover an item from an advent train. But we're going to see that in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to end today's episode here. Uh, thanks again for the support. Thanks, Chris, uh, for being here. And uh, see you in the next round, everyone. Bye-bye.